booktube is Brecky from Brecky Writes. This is Brecky Reads and this is my May TBR. It is time to do the May TBR jar challenge. So without further ado, let's jump in. And this month's challenge is to read a book by a woman of color. There it is. Read a book by a woman of color. I have several that I have had on my list, so I'm excited because it is the perfect month. The two books that come to mind for reading a book by a woman of color are The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which is the story of Star, a young African American girl who is going to a mostly white prep school, who is the only witness when her friend from the ghetto is killed by police, and what it's like for her to live in between the black community and the white community, and The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. This is a dystopian world in which there are seasons of destruction, but now we're in what looks like the very last of this kind of season. This won the World Fantasy Award, and both of these books are getting a ton of buzz. I'm not really sure which of these two I will probably pick. There are a couple of other books by women of color that I want to get to in May anyway. I will touch on those briefly, but as far as the two that popped out at me, these are the two I'm thinking, but you guys know me. I'm terrible at TBRs. I still make them, but I'm crap at following them. Another book by a woman of color that was going to be on my TBR regardless of what the challenge was is Sophia Khan is Not Obliged by Aisha Malik. Aisha Malik is a first generation Brit whose family immigrated from Pakistan, I believe, and she is writing about being Muslim in Britain. And this title character, Sophia Khan, is basically like Bridget Jones. Like this is set up like a Bridget Jones diary story with like diary entries and neurosis and all of that. But with the caveat that Sophia Khan is a practicing Muslim and a religious Muslim, not like just a cultural Muslim who is having to negotiate not just the world of dating, but write about it for a primarily white audience. I am really enjoying this. I've already started it and have finished the first chapter. And so my goal for May is to finish this and to do a book review. As far as I know, this hasn't come out in the US and may not have plans to come out at this point so I want to get this out there so we can pressure publishers to get it out because so far this is hilarious it reminds me of all the best parts of Bridget Jones diary and is fresh and just really a good book about Muslims being normal everyday people imagine that so I'm excited to be picking this up in May the next book that I want to get to in May is not written by a woman or a person of color and that is between heaven and mirth why joy humor and laughter are at the heart of the spiritual life by Father James Martin. I am going on a five-day silent retreat. Yes, I have to be silent for five days in a row. Holy crap. And one of the things I wanted to do while I'm on that retreat is a little bit of reading and so Between Heaven and Mirth is one of the books I plan on bringing with me. It's the only one that I want to try to finish while I'm there, so this is on my TBR for the month of May. I also have Monstrous Volume 1. This is by Marie Liu and Sanan Takeda. I actually have no idea what the story is about, but I want to read it this month because the next installment comes out in June and I just already love the artwork. Here is an example of what that artwork is like. And I'm just really jonesing for some graphic novels. I've got a couple others that I am eyeing, but this one is one I definitely want to get to. Both Marie Lu and Sana Takeda are Asian women, so they would technically count as women of color as well, so this would be another one to have a nice big round month of May books about and by women of color. Finally, I have an audiobook I'm going to be definitely listening to in the month of May, and that is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. This has been on my personal TV since it came out and I'm excited that I finally got it from Audible. I just know that I need a memoir right now. I need something with a little bit of humor but a little bit of gravitas. I'm looking for that balance and that blend and I think he's done a pretty good job trying to step into the very big shoes of Jon Stewart on The Daily Show. Trevor Noah grew up in South Africa where his mother is black and his father is white and at the time of his birth it was illegal for black and white individuals to marry and be together. So growing up in the shadow of the apartheid and living through that I'm sure has formed him in many deep and moving ways but also has allowed him to have a sense of humor about race that a lot of folks maybe don't have. I'm really interested to see how he treats his sort of youth and issues around race and especially into the current American context. I'm really really interested. Most of you guys know that I average about 10 books a month and I am intentionally trying to pull back a little bit, go for six to eight books rather than hitting that 10 and that is because I have a deadline. I was able to get a 
editing of an entire manuscript as a part of a fundraiser. I like won it in an auction and so the deadline for that is June 1st. It's a pretty hard and fast deadline since the editor has other things in the fall that she needs to get to so I need to have my entire manuscript that I'm working on completely ready to be out the door in my editor's hands by the end of May and that's kind of stressful so I'm going to focus on writing but I do want to do some reading and I think some graphic novels, I think some uh, fun fantasy or fun contemporary might be right up my alley. And of course audiobooks. I know of one that I'll definitely be reading but who knows what I'm going to pick between now and then. Comment down below and let me know if you have any recommendations of books by women of color that you think I should be checking out. I am always curious to know more and to read more because I know that there are so many amazing women women of color authors that I don't know about. I don't even know about them yet. So I would love your recommendations. I would love to expand my horizons. I hope you guys are all doing well. Like I said, May is going to be a slower month. I am also going to be on retreat so you won't see me around social media much next week. Or Wednesday to Sunday, I'm totally gone. I'm supposed to be totally offline for five days. Praying doing that jam. We're gonna see how that works out. I hope you guys are all doing well and I am sure that I'll be talking to y'all very soon. Bye!